it's Addie, and today we are watching episode three of The Last of Us. I... I don't know, since I haven't played the game, I don't know what's coming next, but based on the first episode, the second episode, it seems like something big is going to happen in each episode, and I am not prepared. I'm curious what happens next because we're losing people in each episode. So now it's really just down to Joel and Ellie by themselves as of now. And we can't really lose either of them. They're pretty important characters. They're pretty big in this. So I'm very curious what's going to happen next. Tess's ending is just heartbreaking. And the fact that Joel couldn't even really properly say goodbye to her because one, she was infected, and then two, they were kind of being chased. They had to run out of there. So it's just heartbreaking that they never, they didn't get a proper goodbye. And then that terrifying, um, I don't even want to call it a kiss. Like that just felt very weird all around. The fact that that happened, that was the last thing that happened before she died, before she sacrificed herself. That was just episode two. Like, so many big things are happening. It sounds like we're talking about people named Bill and Frank, I believe. So I assume that we're going to see them maybe in this episode, maybe in a few episodes. Let's just watch it. This is episode three. I'm glad at least we made it out of there, but... I don't know what's going to be in these woods. You want your jacket back? When we've been in the woods. Welcome. Welcome to it. I've been thinking about what happened. Nobody made you go along with this plan. You needed a truck battery or whatever. Oh, don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. Jeez, that's a lot for her to hold on to, too. No infected? Not often, no. Oh. Are Bill and Frank nice? Frank is. How'd you get that scar on your head? Someone shot at me and missed. See, that's cool. You get him? No, I missed too. I assume that we'd only have to deal with the infected, not just normal people as well. Hang back a minute. I gotta grab some stuff I stashed. Why do you have stuff stashed here? You asked a lot of questions. Yes, I do. <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> no way. I had a friend who knew everything about this game. Oh, She's so excited. Is there anything bad in here? Just you. Ah. Oh, I hope there's something bad in there. Please don't be anyone down there, please. Yeah, don't go down there, Ellie. I'm afraid something's gonna jump out. Ellie. Ellie. We're gonna get stuck down here. Yeah. Mm. That's actually very helpful. <laughs> no. No. Don't go near it, Ellie. Ellie, why are you like this? <laughs> Yikes. I hope it can't crawl out from under all that rubble. Ellie, you are too close, my friend. Ellie! Ellie, why? Yikes. <laughs> ha! Okay. Yeah, I hope... I hope... Jeez. Oh, I hope you got what you needed out of that. Ellie! Ellie? Did you gonna jump out and scare him? Hey, no. over my... What are you doing? There's not much ammo out there for this thing. She's gonna leave it there. No. She's really not going to say anything about that situation? She's a brave young gal. You fly one of those? A few times, sure. Pay 12 bucks for a sandwich. Dude, you got to go up in the sky. Yeah, well, so did they. How did it even start? Was it a monkey? I bet it was a monkey. It wasn't a monkey. I thought you went to school. <laughs> Some of it got into the food supply. There were certain brands of food that were sold everywhere, all across the country, across the world. Bread, cereal, pancake mix. 
Mm. Then they started biting. Friday night, September 26, 2003. Wow. Happened so quickly. It makes more sense than monkeys. <laughs> Thanks. He really, really lucked out with not eating pancakes that day without bringing home a cake. About a week after outbreak day, soldiers told you you were going to a QZ, and you were, if there was room. If there wasn't, oh, these people weren't so sick. Dark. No, probably not. Dead people can't be infected. Oh, geez, we're gonna see this. Uh, and they have no idea. Oh, is he hiding from people who would? I guess take him somewhere. Your new world order jackboot. <sighs> so he has a place under the basement or like beside the basement? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, it was so quiet and then it wasn't. Wow. Guess you got the town to yourself. Hi. Ron freaking Swanson. Of course Ron freaking Swanson survives this. I couldn't say his, see his face before, but I'm glad he's in this. Whoa. The entire Home Depot to himself. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we have to stop there. <laughs> he has really figured out how to make it through this. Growing his own food. Dang. He has a lot of good food. Guys. Oh. That happened so suddenly and so accurately. Whoa. Whoa. He's been doing this for four years. Are you sure? Are you armed? No. Why did you take that long to answer? I don't know. I, 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 I'm just trying to get to Boston. Normal. Are you hurt? It's just, just a bruise. Are we positive he's not infected whatsoever? How'd you get that? He has one of those. That's helpful. How did he get that? Hey! Boston is that way. You can make it by nightfall. I'm really hungry. If I feed you, then every bum is gonna show up here looking for a free lunch. And this is not an Arby's. Arby's didn't have free lunch, it was a restaurant. He has a point. Check him in. I left some clothes here for you. Thank nice. you. This is amazing. Aww. You have company now. You okay? I wonder if he's always lived here by himself or if he ever had a family. What the fuck? <laughs> a man who knows to pair rabbit with a Beaujolais. I know, I don't seem like the type. No, you do. Oh. Probably the first time we've had wine in a very long time. Or any of this in a long time. Let Thank him you. stay here. We could keep each other company. You're welcome. Guess I'll be going then. Let him stay. I've been staring at this the whole time. You know how much these are worth? Currently nothing. <laughs> Can't really sell it to anyone right now. Oh. This is you. <laughs> the best of Linda Ronstadt. Take things in stride. No, thank you. Sorry. Not this song. Not this song. Well, I'm not no, thank professional. You. Well, neither am I. But... Love will abide. But there's no one at my side. That's what someone told me. I think I'm gonna.
so sweet. I mean, I imagine things like that, just like the little joys. I mean, you can't enjoy it in a time like this. So, who's the girl? There is no girl. What's your name? Bill. <laughs> Go take a shower, Bill. Yeah, every episode is gonna make me cry, apparently. Oh. I'm glad that you just stumbled in his path. I'm gonna start with the simple things. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm gonna stay for a few more days. Yeah. Yes, that would definitely be okay. Please stay as long as you want. Hey! Would you stop? Do I ask for things? Ever? I live in this world. You live in a psycho bunker. And the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! I am asking for some paint and some gasoline for the lawnmower. That's all. Just tell me why. This is my street, too. Just, just let me love it the way I want to. And the clothing boutique. The boutique? Priorities. We're going to make friends and we will invite them to visit. There are no friends to be had. Well, I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. You what? Is this Joel and Tess? Whoa. I'm the same way. Oh, you're a paranoid schizophrenic too? By the way. This is bad. How nice this is to have a civilized meal in such a beautiful place. Let's go inside. Tess, I want to show you something. Actually, no. I have been wanting to wine. see inside. Not inside. Thank you. Yes. Frank. I understand. Seems like the two of them are very similar, and Tess and Frank are very similar. But of all the people you could have found on the radio, we're actually decent people just trying to get by. We can help each other and get that gun out of my face. Mm. So what, you were a prepper or something? Survivalist. That fence has got a year on it, tops. If I can get and you so 10 spools of high tensile them out forever. last you the rest of your life. There'll be raiders. They'll beat that fence and your tripwires. We'll be fine. I hope that's true. He, uh, he knows Joel is right. Whoa, another three years later. Just one more loop around. I got something to show you. Huh? <laughs> not oh, that. No. <laughs> Bill is not going to be happy about this. Bill? Is that his name? Frank and Bill? I traded Joel and Tess one of your guns for a packet of seeds. I did this for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry over strawberries. I am not gonna cry over strawberries. It's it's just crazy how in a world like this, something like strawberries is such a delicacy. And it's such a kind gift. I was never afraid before you showed up. Hmm. Now he has something to lose. No, I'm not on the strawberries. <laughs> Don't mess up my strawberries. Oh, it's gonna be some No. Oh, right. Oh. Jeez, I really thought in this world we would only have to worry about infected, but that is not the case. Bill. I'll kill the rest of them. Yeah. Call. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Joel. Uh huh. Yeah, we do need to call Joel. He'll take care of you. No. You're gonna be okay. Liberty oh sir. my gosh. I'm so glad he's okay. Ten years later, another time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna cry in every episode. <laughs> working on beautifying his home, his town. <clears throat> Big roundy. He's a little softy now. <sighs> Took my 
most of the night. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I don't want you falling asleep in the chair. I won't. I promise you I'm gonna stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. Oh, he knows. What if we find a doctor? What if, what if someone shows up who can help? I've made up my mind. Oh. Where are my freaking tissues? <laughs> Addie, this is empty. This is not helpful. I've had a lot of bad days. Just give me one more good day. Starting now, make me some toast. <laughs> Do what he says, whatever he wants. We'll get married. And you cook a delicious dinner. Then you will crush all of these up. Put them in my wine. Oh, that's how he's gonna go. And I will fall asleep in your arms. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Uh, I, can't. I can't. Do you love me? Yes. Then love me the way I want you to. Oh, that's so hard. Also, knowing that this is your last day together. So nice. <laughs> oh, and the fact that Bill said he wasn't afraid until he met him. Ooh. Do something to this one? Why are there already pills in the bottle? Enough to kill a horse. I'm satisfied. And you were my purpose. Oh. Oh, I should be furious. It's incredibly romantic. <laughs> he doesn't want to live life without you. Take me to bed. So Ellie and Joel are going to find them both dead. <sighs> okay, I'm glad she knows the code. Yeah, I guess that should be that would be the first sign. Bill. Frank. This for they left the car. It's from Bill. To whomever, but probably Joel. <laughs> so they're dead. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing you found this, Joel, because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked you, but still, it's like we're friends, almost. I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. One person worth saving. That's what I did. I saved him. We have a job to do. And God help any mother who stand in our way. All of my weapons and equipment, use them to keep... Keep Tess safe, yeah. Stay here. Joel. So you don't need your battery anymore when you have the whole truck. Show me your arm. I have a brother out in Wyoming. He used to be a firefly. Maybe they can get you to wherever this lab is. All right. If I'm taking you with me, there's some rules you gotta follow. Don't bring Rule up one, Tess. you don't bring up Tess, ever. Yeah. They see that bite mark, they won't think it through, they'll just shoot you. You do what I say when I say it. We clear? Yes. This guy was a genius. <laughs> Dude. No. There's a wall of them. 
Needs another hour. They have hot water. I'm taking a shower. And then you're showering. <laughs> Joel is not going to be happy about this. Well, don't you look pretty? <laughs> Shut up. I wonder, has she been it's in first a car, time in a car before? It's like a spaceship. Seatbelt. Oh, she wouldn't even know what a seatbelt is? It's so cool. Believe it. Put it back. Do you know who Linda Ronstadt is? No, I don't know who Linda Ronstadt is. She would not know. Okay. That was a very emotional episode. I... Uh, I, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, this is really the first episode where it wasn't just, there wasn't so much action. Like the first two episodes hasn't been solely action, but there has been a lot of it. So this one was just kind of, I guess, just more exposition of their lives and just showing a lot more of the two of them together. Oh, it's just, it's so heartbreaking. And... I mean, they literally gave each other purpose, and uh, I, I don't know. It was just, their story is really beautiful and really tragic. Um, it, uh, I, I'm glad they're just showing different lives of people, like, living through this. I mean, obviously their situation is probably not like most situations. I mean, he was kind of prepared from this, prepared for this from the beginning, and then he had the ability to build a fence and he knew what he was doing and he was able to survive on his own. So I imagine that that is not the case for the majority of people in the world. But I mean, it's so cool to see just how this is affecting different people's lives. Uh, but in their case, I mean, their story is beautiful. I mean, they truly needed each other and Ah, just the, I guess, 20-ish years? Well, they weren't together the full 20 years, but the time they had together was just very beautiful. They're exactly what each other needed, and ah, it's just tragic the fact that, I mean, he was obviously, Frank was going through some health issues, but the fact that they literally just gave each other purpose and they didn't want to live life without each other, I'm just going to be thinking about this and crying about this all day but i guess moving forward um it uh so i keep wanting to call her anna because that's her that's her real name uh tess tess said one of the last things that they said that tess said was to find bill and frank and so ideally they would have helped us but they're not exactly here to help us anymore i mean we did get supplies we did get the truck so that's very helpful but it just sucks that like we're kind of just grasping of where to go next because they were supposed to go to Boston, somewhere in Boston, and then they had all um, either died or were infected at that point. And then our next hope was Bill and Frank and they're not here anymore. So it's really just like grasping for straws of where to go next. So I'm very curious where they're going next. I mean, they said Wyoming, but I don't know if he knows specifically where to go, like how specific of a location he knows so very curious to see how that goes hopefully the truck um is faithful to them and gets them there without any complications but yeah i'm very curious to see what happens next i'm glad that we did see a little bit of tess and it's re it was really interesting to see her i guess with like whatever they met at the house like she still had like some hope in life left to her like the this world hadn't completely hardened her like when we found her so I really like Tess I I, I don't know if we're gonna see more of like more flashbacks like that but I, I loved seeing her and like seeing her and Joel together oh it's just sad like whenever Tess and Frank were like talking amongst themselves it just seemed like they like had hope still 
So, I mean, it's just, it's so sad how this world, how this pandemic is affecting all these people. And uh, hopefully we're able to find, figure out some kind of cure vaccine through Ellie, but I'm very curious to find out what happens next. Well, this was episode three of The Last of Us. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Thank you.